All right, Melbourne back on top of the ladder. It was a powerhouse performance on Thursday night. What was the one aspect of it for you, Christian? Um, I just felt like we got our aggression back, yeah. I felt like a hunt right from the first second of the bounce. Um, yeah, it was awesome. We were very aggressive and I felt like the midfield sort of led the way in that. Uh, we sort of, as I say, every week on this show, our starts have sort of been really slow. So to, to start off like that in a sort of, in a hostile environment, you know, Port Adelaide or Adelaide Oval in general, I mean, Eddie would understand, it's a very hostile area. So to go out there and felt like it was a sort of four quarter effort. I mean, they, you know, they're a very good team. So they came back in the third quarter, but I still felt like we sort of stopped their flow a bit and we got our game back on terms. A lot of good players, a lot of good players. It was a great team performance. I reckon it was close to one of your best performances this year by Melbourne. But we're going to talk about you for a second. <laughs> I, 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 I watch it closely. I thought that was your best all round game this year as well, Christian, in the sense where you were really productive offensively, but God, you worked hard defensively. I mean, that run-down tackle, it was only one moment, but it was really indicative of, of how you and how the, how the team went about it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm probably playing my best foot is when I'm, uh, you know, putting that defensive pressure on. Obviously, I, I love to attack and I love to kick goals and sometimes I do leave it up to the other mids to sort of defend for me, but... Uh, <laughs> Sound like I Dusty and Nathan <laughs> Five, mate. But to, uh, no, I feel mm. like, you know, um, that's sort of one of my cues every week is to sort of bring that intensity... And it's not just, you know, I feel like I do my best work in sort of that little square where I'm sort of hunting the ball, but it's the sort of the outer areas where I feel like I can have a defensive effort. And again, we needed that. We need to bring that. And yeah, as, a leader, did. as a leader of the footy club, I felt like I need to bring that. A lot of people would say when a player plays well, oh, he was in the zone. And you played really well. But I think what's really impressed people this year is that <laughs> the zone that people talk about, you're in it a hell, a hell of a lot. That's your, that's your level of football. Do you feel any pressure when you go out or are you still the kid from Warren died who says, right, <laughs> let's just play footy and have fun? No, I, I get very nervous for games. Do you yeah. Really? yeah, I do. Yeah, I think, you know, I do a lot of preparation and I do a, a lot during the week. I feel like, you know, Eddie will probably be similar. He probably, you know, you get nervous. It's your job, but at the same time, you the care. expectation. You care, well, you care a lot. And I think, obviously, off the back of last week's game against GWS, you know, we want to come out and all guns blazing. We wanted to be right from the start. So the lead up to the week was all about winning and uh, I felt like we did a great job of that. Am I living? It has been one of the most powerful moments of many a football season in recent years. It means so much to those to, who participate and to those of us who watch on. Because of the way our COVID world is, the Pink Lady in 2021 is going to be a virtual event links to the Melbourne Hawks game on Saturday Twilight at the MCG. We'll tell you how to participate in that in a moment. We've kept Christian on because this is something that's meant a lot to Melbourne over a long period of time. And one of your teammates, Oscar Baker. Oscar, great to meet you on 360. Thanks, Jared. Thanks for having me. Um, tell us about your mum, Trudy. Yeah, um, so, yeah, she's a breast cancer survivor. She got diagnosed with breast cancer in 2012 um, and, yeah, got away from it for about two years and then... Um, a few years later, it came back in the form of bone cancer, and um, unfortunately, she yeah passed away in 2017. It was just before your your, your AFL career came to life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I had no intentions of getting drafted that year. Um, it just it was the way it happened, basically. Um, yeah, she was kind of my motivator in the end, and strung a few good games of footy together, and um, one thing led to another, and uh, I ended up being at the Melbourne Footy Club. And you wear a black armband for every game you play. Yeah, every single game. Um, I don't know how that came about. I, the week after she passed away, I was just playing local footy back home and um, I wore a black armband in that game and I didn't take it off for about a day or two after the game and I just thought it'd be a pretty cool thing to, to keep and, um, yeah, moving forward and to this day I've worn it every single game. How, how much do you think she would be proud of you at the moment? Yeah, and what, what you've achieved. Yeah, I think she'd, yeah, she'd be very proud. Um, she was always the one that, I guess, thought I could get to this, this level. Um, I had doubts over the journey, um, but she was always the one that reassured me that I did have the talent and was good enough, and um, I guess that positivity really um, got instilled in me, and, um, yeah, I was able to, to get here in the end, and I think she'd be so proud. And you have a teammate whose mum is going through this as well, so Fraser Rossman, and his mum, Trudy, is yeah. the ambassador <coughs> for the match. Yeah, yeah, she is. So, um, yeah, she's a breast cancer survivor as well. Um, got diagnosed, I think, 2019. Um, 
And yeah, Fraser's story is pretty pretty similar. Um, I think he brought Beautiful up in, shot, in a it? team meeting the other day that um, he was doing running sessions in his draft year at 10 o'clock at night because he wanted to look after his mum. So that's pretty inspiring as well in itself. So to be playing in a game or to be a part of a game like this, I mean, what does it mean for the Melbourne Football Club? It's been around for some time and it's a very, very powerful message. What does it mean to be a part of a football club? Yeah, well, it means a lot. Um, Melbourne's been part of the BCNA game since 2005, so for me personally to be a part of the game, I mean, hearing Oscar's, sco Oscar's so story and, um, and Fraser's story with his mum Trudy is um, it's very inspiring and to hear the, you know, the resilience that they go through is... Uh, I mean, they're very resilient, sorry. Um, you know, and to be a part of the game on the weekend against Hawthorne is... Uh, yeah, I'm very privileged to be a part of a football club that raises money and awareness for, for such a great cause. So the way it works this year is to be part of it, pinkladymatch.com.au, $25, which is tax deductible, and you essentially buy a portion of the virtual Pink Lady and inscribe a message on that, which is a lovely way of trying to... Um, trying to reenact something that looks so beautiful on the MCG. Yeah, absolutely. I think, obviously, with the COVID situation, we can't do the real thing. So um, I think it's a great initiative, that, what they've come up with. So, yeah, if you go to the Pink Lady website, you can um, get your spot in, in the virtual Pink Lady. And, um, yeah, I urge as many people as possible to get involved with it. Very quickly, just before we let you go, how's Dad? Yeah, Dad's going well. Um, yeah, Dad and my sister are both back home in Brisbane still. and. Yeah, he's still to this day, he's, he's pretty proud of himself for that jumper presentation he uh, presented a few years ago. He, um, yeah, he loves every minute of it and reminds me of it 24-7. So, no, nah, but he's going really well. Love it. Yeah, Oscar, great to have you here. Thanks, and We know you carry your mum, you'll carry her uh, through this weekend, I'm sure. Christian, thanks a lot for thanks, being here. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having me.